What's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to recreate Porter Robinson's Spitfire. Um, let's just get right into it. This is what I'm going to be showing you how to recreate. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. And I'm not going to be showing you how to... Um, I'm not going to be showing you the notes he uses because I'll leave that up to you guys to figure out. It's kind of tedious, but I'm going to be showing you more of the sounds and, and how he creates them. So um, here it is. Just the intro, by the way. I know it's not exactly the same, but um, it's pretty close, so um, there's a few sounds I wasn't able to, uh, I guess, recreate, but um, if you guys have any insight into what um, those are and how to make them, that would uh, be greatly appreciated if you could send that info my way. All right, so we're going to start with the um, lead sound, the synth. Um, pretty much I just use Silent, um, a bit reducer, a bit crusher. Redux in Ableton and an auto filter just for some automation purposes. And here's what the patch looks like. Um, we can recreate this real quick. I'm just going to loop this first part. We'll solo it. sub bass nothing no effects on it I also use silence to recreate that and um, I don't know why I just tried four voices just to maybe make it a little bit beefier but um, um yeah so if we want to let's put those together we'll take the boss if you have your speakers turned up or you have headphones the good bass response you should be able to hear this it's just literally a sine wave I used four voices you don't have to honestly I would use one just because that'll make it mono. Unless you're doing your sub bass mono. But um, low pass filter, I put some distortion on there just to give it some grit. I mean, that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like without it. So, that's pretty much it for the sub. Right, and the riser's coming in, which we'll talk about in the next. This is really simple. Um, in the song, it's more of a white noise, kind of, uh, I don't know, it sounds like a ghostly sound, but I mean, this is, for all purposes, this riser will do. Um, let's see here, yeah, it's a silent patch. 
it's this is fairly simple too. Just one voice, uh, a saw wave, and then one voice for a um, noise wave. Uh, added some delay and reverb, and um, to get it to rise, I had to modulate the pitch envelope, which can be seen right here. Um, I put the attack all the way up, and I moved it to about two o'clock, um, just to get it to rise to that note by the end of it. If you change, let me play that again. It's more drastic if you move the amount to the right. And I believe if you move the amount to the left, it'll ch go, it'll change the direction in which the pitch is going. So it'll go down instead of up. So two o'clock for our purposes is good. And then took me a while to fiddle around with. I had to um, go on a little adventure trying to figure out how to get it to sound like this, but I mean, I think this is fairly close to what he has. That's good. Um, okay, so um, I guess we'll continue that, but uh, actually, uh, this is going to be a pain in the ass to redo. Um, I'll let you guys just look at this and I'll explain everything. Um, so I have a square wave, square saw set to two o'clock, amp all the way up. All these are set to filter one. This is down two octaves. Um, the next uh, wave type is a drive two, uh, set about two o'clock. And then the next one is a sine, just to add B for the low end. And that is also negative 12, and set to sine, obviously. And then amps all the way up. Um, uh, so I just added this string modulation on the sign just to give it some grid. It's a little different sound. Um, there's some white noise. So it sounds like without it. it. Sounds like with it. Um, big crusher just for like more grit. It's kind of distorted the sound a little bit. The sign shaper gives it more of a uh, a round shape instead of a square off shape. I'll let you guys hear that. And then um, here, I just use a low pass filter, um, having this uh, envelope, um, I guess, as the, sh uh, I guess the shape of the sound over time. So it's just a, uh, I put the attack a little bit less than 12 o'clock. And let's see here. And that's pretty much it. And there's some effects on it. Classic too. Um, that's at the uh, seven, eight o'clock drive, at twelve o'clock, and then dimension expander to give it some size. And that's pretty much it. Also, EQ just uh, the low shelf a little bit and get some uh, this high end. And that's pretty much it, guys, for that sound. So with the bass, it sounds a lot of air. The kick is not a lot heavier. Okay, and then um, this like three kick, I guess, break right here. Right here. I couldn't figure out the third sound that's made. Um, I have no clue how I did it. I was trying to, I guess, again, going on a little adventure, recreating it, but I have a feeling it's he made it with a Moog. Um, some kind of Moog emulation, but I couldn't figure it out. If you guys know how to recreate that sound, DM me or, or let me know. That'd be great. But um, this sound right here, this first little stab, it's really simple. Uh, I just use Silent again to recreate it, and just a high passed four voice saw wave. That's it. Um, Let's see here, the chords, I can do the it's F sharp, C sharp, and A. Um, and we just played that on the on the first kick. And, and then, uh, okay, and for that 
rise before the drop. Um, I pretty much just uh, let's get our envelope. I'll put a pitch bend on the last note here on the bass on the sub, and that's that. And then I made another riser, and it's literally the exact same thing as the first riser, just less white noise, I think. Let's look at it. I think I put a phaser up there, did I? No, I was messing around with the phaser. Um, it's literally the same thing. One voice saw, one voice noise. Um, no filter, and just a pitch envelope again. And there's the drop. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any questions or um, want to know more about the drums or, or anything, just uh, let me know. If you'd rather see me recreate it with the notes and you want to, you want to know what notes it uses, I can do that. But for time's purposes, I just um, I wanted to show you guys the sounds more than anything, the notes. Hopefully you can figure that out. But um, if you'd like to see the notes, let me know and I'll make another tutorial. And based on the response I get for this, I will um, I'll put another tutorial out for the actual hook or the, the chorus or whatever you want to call it. Thanks for watching and uh, stay posted for some more tutorials.